The Wakandans are the team getting a reward for Cosmic Crucible in 6.1. Are they the premier team for the mode or are they an apex trap? In this video, we're going to reveal the reworks, discuss whether or not you should build them for Cosmic Crucible, and if they're going to have any value outside of Cosmic Crucible. And if you're ready for all that, find that like button and you know what to do. Let's go smash it. Alley flying. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying. I hope you're having a great day. We are discussing the Wakanda rework. Yes, it is about darn time the Wakandas. They're finally going to be viable in Cosmic Crucible. But the question is, are they going to be viable outside of that game mode? And should you build them for Cosmic Crucible? Let's go take a look at all of their reworks now. Before we do that, though, I do want to mention this information was provided by Scopely and Boundless as part of their Envoy program, but all the information or all the opinions are my own, and hopefully the information that we got in here is correct. We already have one notice of a change that has been made to this, so hopefully there's no more that happened before this is actually released in the game, but let's go take a look at what information that we got now as far as this uh cosmic crucible and this uh, wakandan team they said in cosmic crucible this wakandan team should be on par with a team like infinity watch so they're not gonna be the top end meta of the game but they're gonna be pretty good and as far as outside of uh, cosmic crucible they should be able to ble beat teams like the black order and any teams that were released prior to early 2021 so pretty much teams before infinity watch the devs said they should be able to beat them outside of the Cosmic Crucible. We'll see if that actually happens because we didn't get any footage of this team. We didn't get to play with this team on a test server. We're just kind of going by the kits and what the devs have told us. Now, we still have a big major weakness that the Wakandans suffer from, and that is their ability to clear debuffs. Shuri does that a little bit, and that is pretty much it. So they still have that major weakness of clearing debuffs. The devs were aware of this, and it's purposeful that they have that major weakness. And so they'll be a good team. They're not going to be the, the Apex team in Cosmic Crucible, and they'll be a good team. They'll be on par with some of the more recent teams, but obviously not one of the top teams in the game. Just maybe a really, really good team in Cosmic Crucible. And we'll talk about whether you want to use this team on offense, whether you want to use this team on defense, and uh, what el what other characters you might want to slot in uh, in case you're using some of these characters on other teams. All right, Black Panther, the big one. He is getting a rework. He's getting some stat increases. Health goes up by 154%. Damage going up by 45%. His armor is going up by 12%. Focus, 53%. And his resistance is going up by 21%. So this is his old kit here. On his new kit, what the basic is going to do, attacking the primary target, 210% damage, 30% piercing. It's going to apply slow. It's also going to apply bleed. Right now, all it does is apply slow. Now, the special, what that's going to do, you're going to attack the primary target for 230% damage, which it does already. Uh, he has that 30% piercing, gaining the offense up for two turns, but now it's going to extend that to all the Wakandan allies. It's not just going to go to himself. And on crit, he's going to apply counter to self and all Wakandan allies. And if he has more than two Wakandan allies, he's going to crit 100% of the time. So, which means that he's pretty much getting the, the counters every time there's on a full Wakandan team. His ultimate, there's a lot going on here. It does that 280% damage, has that chain, 200% damage, and a counter attack brings his chain. But while in charge... He's going to do an AOE attack instead of 250% damage. He's going to do it for 284% damage. His attack gains 40% damage per charge. So it's going up by uh, damage every time that it goes charged. And only 20% before this, uh, before the rework. So it's getting even more deadly. In Crucible, if this has uh, four more characters, has charged, fill the speed bar by 30% for self and all Wakandan allies. So, yeah, and that is in addition to his passive, which already fills the speed bar wide 100% anytime he gets a kill. So, uh, yeah, he's gonna he's been getting a lot of speed potentially with this move, especially if he has kills, more piercing, more crit chance, and it cannot be dodged. You're still gaining a charge on attack. He's gaining the charge, which is a little better than what it is now, and I think is a little more in line with the MCU version previously. Uh, he's only getting charged when he drops below 50% max health. Now he's going to gain the charge anytime he's attacked. So 
That kind of aligns with the suit that we saw in that Black Panther movie that Shuri gave him. Still gaining 100% speed bar on kill. Defense up. Uh, he's gaining deflect and regeneration. And on Crucible, when he's charged, extra damage drain for self and all Wakandan allies. That is huge. Because in Crucible, drain. 50% drain. He's getting more damage. The drain for everybody. That's going to help with their sustainability. M'Baku. Very, very mediocre character, even upon release. I still pity the fools that were really going hard on Baku. Probably like myself, if I go back and look at the videos. But he's getting some stat increases to make him a little more viable in today's game. Health, 29% goes up. Damage goes up by 38%. Armor, 25%. Focus, 68%. And resistance, 57%. Here's his old kit here. Nothing is changing on his basic, but what is happening on his, actually, let's move that up there. What is happening on his special? He's gaining taunt for two turns now. He's gaining the counter. He's gaining counter self and all Wakanda allies, which is helpful. He's gaining the charges and defense up for self two turns and all Wakanda allies for two turns. No defense up right now on this special. So that makes him a little more beefy. He's ultimate. He's attacking the primary target and all adjacent targets, 320% damage, playing vulnerable up to a maximum of five. So that is good. The damage remained the same, but that vulnerable makes it a little more damaging when you have that striker or whatever ISO A class is chaining to adjacent and primary target and the attack uh, it's going to apply one vulnerable to a maximum of five. Now, this was something that is said that got changed. It looks like it's going to be a maximum of three when this goes live in-game. That was one change that the dev made us aware of. Who knows if there are any other changes that we were not made aware of. He's also going to get two charges from maximum of five to self and all what kind of allies. Counterattack does not break this change. So, yeah, he's going to chain attack. And then he's going to do the adjacent target. And then he's going to apply vulnerable and the previous. And if you have resisted the vulnerable... You're going to, uh, it's going to, it's going to hit the maximum of five targets to the previous attack. A little confusing. I think it was uh, still some confusion when we were trying to get some clarification from the devs on this. But uh, his passive defense up, he's still going to heal for 15% of his max health. When charged and a Wakanda ally drops below 50% of his health, clearing all negative effects on this character, gaining taunt. Maximum of three, losing charge. More block chance, gaining, ch uh, when he has charged. 100% block chance, 50% block amount, so that is good. On block, lose a charge and heal for 50% max health. And in Crucible, when he has two or more Wakanda, more Wakanda allies, lower the armor by 30% for all enemies that have vulnerable. So, yeah, getting a little nasty with this. Now, I think the, one of the biggest increases to the characters has to be Okoye. She, I think, is the biggest winner here. Her health goes up by 84%, damage 45%, armor 95%. Focus, 84%, and base resist stats goes up by 21%. So now what she's going to do with her basic, attacking the primary target, 200% damage, you're going to clear two positive effects, which is good. And I believe that also is going to extend her basic and her, her assist and counter chance, uh, her base assist and counter attack chance, excuse me. Also getting more uh, focus for this, and that's very good if you need, if you're getting those uh, positive effects cleared. All right, on primary target attack on the special, 220% damage. Defense down for a turn and offense down for two turns. So damage mitigation by Okoye. Change of four adjacent targets for 190% damage. Uh, you're, you're getting, uh, instead of one adjacent target, going to four. And Crucible, reducing the speed bar of all targets with an immunity by 35%. So immunity is actually going to be a bad thing if you have an Akoi that you're facing on a Wakandan's team. Counterattack still breaks the chain. Attacking the primary target for 320% piercing after gaining offense down with the ultimate. Reducing the speed bar by 50%. So... Yeah, controlling the enemies like a mini ghost or or the original version of Okoye, just reducing all the speed of the enemies. 40 gaining 40% damage per charge in Crucible. Clear revive once from the primary target. And that is gonna affect teams with Dormammu. That's gonna affect characters like um Adam Warlock. Gamora, Nebula, this attack cannot be resisted. In Crucible, if this character has four or more charge, gaining three ability energy, and this attack ignores defense up, cannot be dodged, and a long, long passive here. Let's move on to this on defense up. 
gain immunity in crucible applying immunity to all wakandan allies and i believe that is with a defense up not on a spawn on self or wakandan ally crit plus one charge so maximum of five on a wakandan allies turn gain assist now gain 50 percent piercing and in crucible wind charge that has four more wakandan allies lower damage by 15 percent for all enemies so more damage mitigation from her gaining 20 percent speed for uh, self and all Wakanda allies, that is big and lower drain by 50% for all enemies. So yeah, you're gaining the drain with uh, Black Panther and then you're losing the drain for the enemies on Okoye. Shuri, Shuri is probably the most viable character of all the Wakandans right now and she's getting a little better because she's already pretty viable right now. Her health is going up by 50% and that is pretty big, especially if you're using a tech section of Doom right now. Damage is going up for, so for those of you that have that crit on her and have that important crit Shuri, thumbs up for you. Armor going up by 46%, focus by 31% and resistance by 21%. All right, attacking the primary target adjacent to targets by 300% damage now on her basic instead of the 200 that she has right now. Applying heal block, the primary target for two turns. Uh, defense up for self and all allies for two turns. Charge a maximum of five for self and Wakanda allies. And generate ability energy for two random allies. Generate ability energy for four random Wakanda allies. And that is a good thing as well. It only won before this update. So that's going to help her on this team. Ultimate, that has no changes at all. And her passive, she's gaining more max health. 40% max health. Wakandans are gaining 40% more max health. Gaining more armor. Wakandans are also gaining more armor. And when self or ally drops below 50% of max health, apply three deflect to this character. And I believe that they did that. Yeah, so a lot of the bonuses that she had, all these that are just in the raids, kind of just extending it to other game modes. So if you want to use the Wakandans outside of the game mode, they're going to get that max health. They're going to get some of the raid bonuses that they previously had because of Shuri. And last but not least is Killmonger and... When I said Shuri got the least bonuses, I forgot about Killmonger. He got the least bonuses here, but a lot of the bonuses that he gets are tied to M'Baku. So he's gotten a little better, and he's still viable on some of these other teams there. The military skill, the mercs, and yes, he's still viable on the Wakandas. He's getting some stat increases as well. He's got a few of these with all the teams that he's on over the years. His health is going up by 20 more percent. His damage... 38% damage increase. That is big on a character that already has some decent damage. 22% more armor, 31% more focus, and 21% more resistance. Now, the only real thing that Killmonger got, if we look, no changes to his basic, no changes to special, is ultimate. In Crucible, it's going to go, instead of chaining to all adjacent targets, it's now going to go and ch rebound chain to seven adjacent targets. That's when you're in Crucible. Outside of that, Killmonger didn't really get a lot. And that's it for this Wakandan rework. They look pretty good. They look very good in Cosmic Crucible. And they look to have some viability outside of Cosmic Crucible as well. Now, now the big question, will they be better on Cosmic Crucible defense or offense? Well, what the devs said about Cosmic Crucible initially is that they don't want teams specific to offense or defense. They want to see what players come up with. They want to see how the mode lands with players first. So at least initially, we're not going to have specific offense or defense teams. But what should you do with the Wakandans? Well, they said they're better designed to be in the player's hands. So at least initially, their recommendation is to use them on offense. So you could use them whatever. Uh, they're designed to be on offense, but if you want like an easy cookie cutter defense team, these guys are going to be very tough for your opponents to get around. So you could use them in that sense as well. So I think they'll be great on both. The devs did uh, design this team to be used on offense, but you could use them whatever. Let me know what you're going to do with the Wakandas. Let me know if you are going to build these characters or if you're going to wait to see what these Cosmic Crucible rewards are when this update drops. Hopefully, it's a good update. Hopefully, there's no major bugs, but I will see you after this update drops. And hopefully, a lot of these events, they're better in the actual game than they look on paper because I'm questioning some of them right now. But hopefully, it's a good one, guys. I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button and hit that bell so you know as soon as a new video goes up. It helps the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Stay positive. Stay hydrated. And give me that Hulk fist before you go. Valley flying out.